In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an assignment in Canvas um, and, uh, and how to set due dates and, and that kind of stuff um, for the assignment. Um, so when you first kind of log into your Canvas course, you'll be, at, you'll be kind of logging into your home page. It'll look something like this. Um, so you want to click on the assignments. Now it may be grayed out on your view, but that's okay. That's just something that's not visible to students at the moment because there aren't any assignments in the in the classroom yet. Um, but then once you uh, deploy an assignment, then it'll it'll um, become black like the the links for the other uh, the other areas. Even though it's gray, though, you still have access as an instructor to to open it up. So I'm going to click on the assignments button, and I'm going to add a new assignment. And then the first piece, of course, is an assignment name. So you just type in um, the assignment name. I'm going to call this one assignment one. And then you have your description area. Um, so you can um, type in whatever you want, instructions um, about the assignment, the kinds of things you're, you're looking for specifically. Um, you can uh, link to documents like Google Docs, things like that if you want to. Um, you can also pull in files. Um, so here on the right hand side you'll see a link to files. If you've uploaded any files um, to Canvas, you can access them here and, 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 and link them to the, uh, to the assignment itself. So when you like drop it in, it puts a link to that file. The points piece you don't need to worry about, the assignment group, uh, these pieces you don't need to worry about. The submission type, though, you want to make sure uh, you have set correctly. So it's going to be an online submission. There are other submission methods available, but online is what you're going to want. Um, and then you can choose some of these other options if you want to, um, if, you just, if you're fine with them typing information in or linking to a URL with information. But most likely you're going to have file uploads or files that you want them to upload. So you'll want to just click on file uploads. Um, you can choose to restrict file types if you want to, but I, I would le recommend leaving that unchecked so they can submit what they need to. <clears throat> and then you can skip the group assignment and peer reviews. Um, you can, if you're interested in learning more about the group assignment piece, we can talk about that um, in additional detail. Um, but down the, to the assign to, you want to make sure that everyone, by default, everyone's in here. You just want to set your due date for the assignment. And you can set a time as well, like when you want it submitted. Uh, by default, it does 11.59 p.m. of that day. And then you can also set the availability of the assignment. So what that means is that the assignment will be available to the student or the end user for a period of time. So I could set that, you know, available today until the 18th because the assignment's due on the 17th. And then it would just basically automatically turn off at that point. Uh, not really turn off, but just become invisible to the end user because they're in as a student, so they wouldn't be able to see it. Uh, then you just hit the Save button. And there's the assignment. Um, and then when you're ready to publish it and you want to see people, you want to have people see it, if you didn't assign the availability dates, you can just click the publish button right here. And then if you need to go back and edit it um, for, you know, add additional information or what have you, you can, you can do that here. Um, and then every assignment that you create will be listed in this assignments uh, section. You'll see here I've got assignment one now. Um, and I can click on it and go back to that page where I can edit, um, publish, or, or what, what have you with this. So um, that's the basics of creating an assignment. Um, and then once you've created it, um, the, the end users will kind of upload those files. And you can go and, and review the submissions uh, for, those, uh, for that assignment. Uh, and you'll be able to see it in the grades area. So if you click on grades, I'll just kind of walk through this a little bit. You click on grades, you'll see the student name or end user name, if you will, and the assignment and then the submission. And you can just click on it and take a look at it and give it a grade, if you will. So you can kind of say, yeah, this meets our requirements. You're good to go. Or you can send it back and say, hey, we need some additional information. So this is kind of the basics of assignment and where you find the submissions. Um, and I can go into further detail um, if you want to set up a meeting uh, to chat about it or just make a request, you can email me and I can uh, record some additional videos that'll be helpful. All right, thanks.